What's up sports fans, this is the great Smaxby welcoming you to another XCOM Enemy Unknown video. When we last left our intrepid heroes, we had picked up uh, a new friend in China as part of the Operation Slingshot DLC. We're now jumping right back into an alien abductions mission. I believe we planned to go to France because uh, as you can see here, the panic level is pretty high. Uh, we don't really need an assault sergeant, but we want to bring this down. France is where we're going to be sending one of our next satellites and everything. So it's best to get it done now. Uh, Nagoya, we'd love to have those engineers, but it's no real point right now. Um, Canada, scientists would also be great, but there's no panic level. So we're going to have to go with Paris. It is going to be a difficult mission, as you can see here. But we're just going to have to go with it. Now, uh, in between episodes here, I have messed around a little bit with some of our troopers. I've customized them a little bit. Because this is a very difficult mission, I am going to go with all vets. Farouk's my sniper. Lin's my support. Gary's my assault. Schwartz is coming as heavy. Let's just uh, get out there and hope for the best. All right, we have touched down in Paris, France. We've got quite the open map here. Now this I know has a couple of levels to it, so we're gonna wanna clear that building pretty fast. There's some dotted cover in here, including this truck, and then the edge of the map is here where this helicopter is. There's a bunch of little outbuildings over here and some spotty cover here looking towards, I think a train station in this corner. So we're going to advance very slowly because there's a lot of angles here. There's less likely to come from this side, but we are going to be prepared here anyways. So first thing I want to do is I want to take Farouk and just put Farouk on Overwatch. We'll move Schwartz up to this corner here. I'm going to move Go up to here. And then I'm going to have... Lynn, seeing quite close to the core, but just checking on this flank over here because I have a feeling that one of these angles is where we're going to see our first kind of encounter in this map. I'm expecting it to be maybe from this channel, but there is a big sort of kill zone here that I don't want to get caught in, which is why I'm going to move on the flanks first, uh, which makes having a sniper on Overwatch so much more important as well. So. We're gonna move from there and hope for the best. I'm just gonna put everyone on Overwatch now. Not, not Rocket. Okay, no sign of hostile so far. So I'm gonna move Lynn up here. And we're gonna check at the door. Still no contacts, okay, that's fine. Lynn can just stay here. Hopefully not gonna get caught out of cover. Okay, I'm gonna leave for now. Farouk, I'm wondering if I can get Farouk up onto the top here in one move. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a risky run, but I need that that line of sight. Here they come. Okay, so we now we know the sectoids are on the other side of that kill field. That's fine. That's something I can deal with. And um, we got some up here. That is a pain. Because they're going to get a shot off next turn. I really should have thought about that possibility. Okay. So Schwartz. Is basically just going to. I'm just going to get him to come out here. He's going to go to Overwatch. Gao. Is going to. Not sure what to do with Gary. I think I'm going to put Gary in full cover over here because if those sectoids are going to come from this angle, at least she's going to be in some sort of cover here. We'll pop her in Overwatch and then we'll hope that they don't kill Farouk. Alright, we got a shot off on that one. That's pretty good. And we got another shot off on that one. That's nice. That missed.
That one's gonna dash, so that's not gonna get a shot off. You're gonna get a shot. Oh, that's problematic. But that one's gonna run away, so that's okay. That's at least one shot they can't get on me there. That's fine, we can live with that. Now, Farouk has been hit, but we're gonna try to get a, a headshot on this one. That, that didn't work. That was not great. So we're gonna have that little problem there. Um, now, I'm not one for rockets. We can't get a rocket in there anyway, that's fine. We're not gonna do that. Uh, I am gonna move him up to here. And if they try to move any further to that flank, I can get shot off. I'm gonna see about getting shot in here. We've got 53 on this one, 53 on that one, and 53 on that one. So I'm gonna go for the one that's not wounded at the back. And that's a kill. That's good, okay. Uh, Go is gonna get a shot up here. We've got 53 on this one, or we've got 53 on that one. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap to my pistol. I'm going to see here, because the wounded one, I still have 53 a hit. 20% uh, critical, but only one shot. And it doesn't work. That's pain. A little over a coin flip, so I knew that was always a possibility. He's going to miss, that's good. It's fine. They've got about as much chance as we do of hitting anything, I suppose. That's paint. What are you going to do? You're going to shoot it, Lynn. Uh, and your cover's blown. I'll let you check that. No, your cover's fine. So we're going to get you to take a shot at this guy here. That'll do. It's another kill for Lynn. Good stuff. Go. You've got 56%. I might get you to run and gun. But first off, let's deal with this. I'm going to take a shot at this guy. We have 58% chance to hit and a 25% critical chance. No, we're going to mess again. So Schwartz is gonna, I'll leave Schwartz this now. What I'm gonna do is swap back to my assault rifle here. I'll take the shot, I'd rather stay in cover because I don't know what's gonna come up to me at that angle. That takes care of that. And Schwartz, I'm gonna have move up to here and just go and overwatch. That truck's gonna blow up, that's okay. We're not in range of that hurting us. Now this chap is gonna take another shot, I think. But miss, that's all right. Now Lynn, you're probably gonna need a heal the next turn. So I am gonna move Lynn into the half cover up here. I know it requires a dash, but I'll take this one just now. I wanna deal with everything up top first. So we are going to take another shot at this guy. It's 58%. It's just not happening. I don't know what's up here that Farouk just don't, doesn't want to make a hit. Okay, so Schwartz doesn't have a great deal of movement. We're just going to make this next part tricky. Uh, so what I will do is I'm going to move Gao up to here. And Gary's gonna go on Overwatch. And then Schwartz is gonna dash to here. And try to get line of sight on the next wave of enemies. They're falling back. No, they're not, they haven't moved. Okay, so that splits fire at least, that's always good. I could take the shot here. Uh Lynn is having a lot better chance of hitting things than Farouk seems to. But I think I'd rather make the safe move and do a heal. Don't move. You'll be 
So that's going to bring Farouk back up to full health. Go is going to stay there for now. And I'm going to move Schwartz up to here. Okay. It's hard to differentiate where the organic material ends and the machine begins. It's not going to win any beauty contests, that's for sure. Well, we got some new friends here, the floaters. Um, I can't fire a rocket, but I can probably take a shot. What I'm going to do first, though, I uh, can't move Gower anywhere that she's going to be useful here. So I'm going to reload. Good to go. And then I may run and gun next turn. Farouk, I really need you to kill this guy here. Yes, finally. Finally. That took far too long. So we're going to see if we can get a shot off here. 48 or 48. Maybe I'll just overwatch. It's going to confirm a slight penalty. But I'm going to, I'm going to go for overwatch. And we've got more trouble. That's a miss. One more sectoids on the go now. Okay, that's that's problematic. Farouk doesn't have a shot at all, and if I move her, she's not going to be able to fire a sniper anyway. That's going to put her in a flanking position. So if I put her here and reload. Now Schwartz is flanked from from here, so that's a problem. Uh, so Schwartz is going to stay put just now. We may have to move him so it's to remove that flank. I can run and gun here, but it's going to be a very risky move. So Guy is going to run and gun. He's going to dash all the way up here. It's going to get a flanking shot, 96% with a 70% critical. And it's going to kill that floater dead. That's why we have assaults. And now, we got two visible. We got this sectoid over here at 48, or the 68 shot on this floater. I'm going to take the 68. And that's going to incur hollow targeting as well, but it's dead, so it doesn't really matter. Lin. I'm going to get to dash. Now we know that this side is clear. This side is clear. So I'm going to get Lynn to dash down here into a full cover. And then let the aliens have a move. So we've got a psychic link going on over there. That could work to our advantage. That didn't work. That's like just gonna take a shot at us here. That didn't work either. That's okay. Oh, we do have another floater over there. I must have miscounted. Okay. 37% on that floater. 48% on that guy. Farouk is now flanked, probably I'm guessing by the floater. Doesn't have a shot anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap the pistol. I'm going to move her into the... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's not what I meant to do at all. That's, that's a problem. So, you're going to go into full cover over here. Schwartz is going to stay there. Gao is out of this turn, basically, unless I dash up, um, but isn't going to get a shot. I could dash up to here and then flank this side. So I'm going to do that and hope that there's nothing else around here. Okay, I think we've saved that. Now, Lin has a 59 on this guy and a 54 on this guy. I'm going to try to take this shot because that's going to be a twofer. 
and that doesn't work. That's pain. So they're going to have to take another turn to reload. I'm going to take the shot. I'm going to try to take the 48 here. Zero critical. No, that's still idea. I'm going to go to overwatch. No, tell you what, I'm going to reload. We will take a turn of pain. I think we're going to be okay. But we'll take a turn of pain anyway. Because I want a full clip if I'm going to attack these guys. They're going to do another psychic link, which is possibly going to work to my favor. He's going to get a shot. That's not good. Lynn's going to get shot at too, but that's a mess. That's all right. I can live with that. What's this floater going to do? The floater is going to jump up and assault. Oh. Oh, he's going to jump. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. That's going to be interesting. Right. You're, you're going to have to reload. That's all you can really do. I drop smoke, but what's the point? Go, you have got 42% on that. It's possible that I could move you up to here and take the shot. I think it's going to be my best bet. It's really all I can do. It's a flanking shot. It's 100% to hit, 70% to critical. Oorah. Now, the sniper... Has 65% on that guy, 62 on there. I'm going to go for the two for again. But I'm going to remember to swap out back to my sniper rifle so that I can take a headshot. 53% on a headshot with 55% of critical. Not that the critical really matters, but hoorah. We're going to get two for there. That's nice. And then it's just that one sectoid remaining. If I run up here, am I going to get a shot? No. And Lynn's going to get hit for four. That's not great. Fifty-nine percent. Fifty-five percent. I like my chances better here. He's down. Operational objectives completed. All right, so that worked out in the end. It wasn't ideal. We got a couple of wounds. A couple of people are going to be out of commission for a few days, but no one horrendously hurt. That is fine. We'll live with that one. Uh, Ten killed. We finally met some floaters. I think that was a successful mission, so let's take it back to base. And a bunch of promotions to do as well. We are using Lin primarily as a healing support, so Smoke, we're not going to really spend a lot of points on. Field Medic to get those three med kits instead of one is ideal. So we're going to go with that for Lin. Gao uh, has been the running gunner. So I'm liking, I'm liking aggression, not aggression, close and personal for more run and gunning. I like that. And if I do that, I might swap her out to a shotgun. So I'm going to go with that close and personal. This one can be a run and gunner. Farouk has the nickname Nix. We're going with squad site. And... I'm liking damn good ground to improve on elevation bonuses. So we'll go with that. And then Schwartz has finally been given the nickname Buster. And we are going to give him, because I'm not using rockets a lot in this, uh, the early game anyway, we're going to give him suppression. Again, it's, a, it's more of a buff than anything. It's going to help our guys in the field give them a better chance to do stuff around enemy targets. So we got uh, Lynn out for a week and Schwartz out for eight days, but well, that's not so bad. We now have a floater on top so we can do a bunch of corpses and a bunch of weapon fragments. That's been great. Panic has increased across Asia and North America, but France has decreased by three. And we now have Claire Mercier, a Sergeant Assault class. Be in touch, Commander. Let's check her out real quick because we can see her stuff. She, her nickname is Septic. That's weird. Um, 
your running gun. We're going to give you tactical sense. And we're going to give you lightning reflexes. So it means that you can dash into better situations and force a few reaction shots to definitely miss, which is always useful. Uh, I'm going to customize you between missions, but what I'll do just now is I'll swap your uh, your armor tint to something a little more interesting. I like the blue, but let's go with this sort of dark green khaki kind of number here. I like that. So, with that, we got a satellite uplink in one day. We got some new soldiers arriving too. I ordered some new soldiers in between missions. And over four days until carapace armor. We got one week till satellite becomes active. So I'm going to uh, get myself a couple more satellites. They're going to take 20 days. Uh, which means they're not going to be ready for the next council report. Which I really should have thought of before. But it's going to be a pain. But I definitely need to get more satellites up in the air because it's going to get us more month more month it's going to get us more money every month and asia is starting to become a problem after that last mission so we have to work on that we're gonna have to fix things a little bit but with the next uplink we're going to get access to three more satellites one will go up this month and another three will be able to go up next month what I will have to do is consider power. But I can only do that in a couple of days once I've got these finished. And then we'll work on it from there. Most construction is probably going to wait until the next month. Uh, we're almost at Carapace Armor. So there's nothing else to do there. Let's go to the mission control and just start scanning. And you can see now, that's our satellite uplink up and running. So that's nice. We're going to launch something as quickly as possible. I want to go, I can't remember exactly. Do I have any satellites available? No, I don't. So I've got six days till the next satellite is going to be available. Oh, uh, they're going to be ready to launch before the end of the council report. That's fine. It's not quite ideal, but we'll work with it. Let's go with mission control and hope we can get carapace armor in the next few days. Germany have requested nanofiber vests. Uh, for that, they'll give us three engineers. That seems fair. We'll take that. And we have a UFO contact. I'm going to scramble the interceptors and see what we can do here. Bangs out. Okay, so we have shot down that interceptor. Uh, it's a small scout, so it's one that we kind of dealt with before. So, yeah, I'm going to send the Sky Ranger out and we're going to hit that one. But we're going to do that in the next video. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that old thumbs up. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. If you want to see more in this series, I put videos out every weekday. So make sure to subscribe to the channel for that. And if you've got any hints or you want to see me do anything particular or you want to question my tactics, do so in the comments. Hey, you just want to say hi? Just leave me a note. It'll be fine. Anyway, I will see you all tomorrow, guys. I've been Smacksby. Until then, peace.